Today we are working on an illustrative lettering motion poster. So we'll start in Fresco. I like building my lettering projects in a square Instagram size. So the phrase that we're doing today is go with your gut. One thing that I really like about Fresco is they have a lot of brushes already preloaded. So I'll come and I'll draw a straight line, hold, line it up. So I'm basically making boundary boxes for my piece. So you'll come make another layer start drawing the letters out. I want it to be kind of a reverse font. So normally down strokes are the thickest, but um, on this, we're gonna do cross strokes. So I'm now gonna take my eraser. This is where you start kind of manipulating what you've put down and I'll start erasing some of the down stroke. I'll just go in here and then I'll load the selection, transform it, and then I'll just squeeze it. Continue cleaning this up a little bit. We'll go and we'll hit this button up here. It'll be a publish and export. Click export as, and then you'll have different settings. I normally use PSD because it re will reserve the layers. So you'll come in, you have to make sure that you have a background and then you'll go right here and you'll find levels. When you come to the left, it gets lighter. Ooh. And then when you come to the right, it gets darker. So you wanna go as far as the right as you can. I will put these all together. I'll merge into one layer and then I'll go to blending options and pull the white out. And so I'm gonna drag this over into Illustrator now. It'll come over as a image. So I can come up here to image trace. I normally just go black and white logo with this kind of stuff and then it will image trace it and I come back to this button here for the more settings and go ignore color. So that'll drop out the white and then you expand it and now it is a vector. So next kind of build a style frame. I took the, the extra chain piece and I built out the chain. For color, I ended up falling on this orange here. I'll go and add a little bit of a gradient. I'll mask that behind the shape and that kind of gives you a little bit extra. So the same thing is here with the chain. Uh, there's the tan and then there's a little bit of a gradient here in the corner and that's using the freeform gradient tool. With this type here, I go and create a circle and then you go to the type tool, hold option and then click and it will start typing on the path. And then if you can see there's this shine here behind inside the chain. Right here will be the mask and then you'll go and hit command seven. So that's what it'll look like once you clipping mask it. So now we're at the point where we have all of our pieces and we wanna take all of those pieces over into After Effects. So the chain is made up of a vector and then it's also made up of a color. And so basically the mask is the thing that's moving. I go over here to the mat and I wanna turn on the mask being the mat for the color. So if you highlight all of your layers and you hit U, It'll show you everything that has a keyframe attached to it. If you hit you again, it'll close everything. Um, the shine is right here. Just those squares going across it. I wanna show the thing that is moving everything. It's called here a null. So a null, you can again, parent layers to the null and the null will do all the heavy lifting. So in here we have some position keyframes and when you hit the keyframe, it moves it up. Right here, we have some rotation keyframes. We have a couple of these shines points right here, but I wanna add a couple more. So I'm gonna go here, I'm calling them glint, and I will hit Command D to duplicate. Um, I also wanted it to have like a little bit of a rock. Um, so again, we'll go to move everything. We'll open up the keyframes here. I think that will be a rotation. So we'll go and lay down a keyframe and then we'll go a little bit further. So we're gonna go and we're gonna kind of rotate it a little bit and it's gonna come back. So let's go negative two on that one and let's kind of see what that looks like. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> yeah, and then we wanna kind of ease back into zero. This is kind of the whole thing. Heck yeah. Oh, that's sick. Go with your gut. Go I with your that, gut, I think the yes. works. Circle it around, that's the end of the stream, y'all. Bye everyone. Thank you all.